A quick stroke here, a touch of paint there, and an American icon comes to life. Basically, I'm uh, drawing, painting uh, features of the doll on the skull. It takes a lot of practice. It has to be precise. It's that attention to detail that helps sell 58 million dolls around the world each year, making her brand akin to McDonald's or Coca-Cola. And all Barbie prototypes are crafted here, in the top secret Mattel studios in Los Angeles, where designers choose everything from her eye color to her clothing. Carlisle is Barbie's personal stylist. And then if I want, you know, a princess scene. One thing, obviously, that we have to keep in mind with Barbie is scale. So not just, like, in terms of size, for example, something like this, you know, these sequins are tiny. So on a Barbie doll, on a Barbie body, it works, and it looks appropriate and proportionate. Barbie, you're beautiful. Making her debut in 1959 at a New York trade show, Barbie was the first doll with a grown woman's body. But she has since drawn her fair share of criticism, not only for her long legs and skinny waist, but also for the lack of diversity among the dolls. In recent years, Mattel has released Barbies of mixed race and with more attainable physiques. Dr. Barbie's into making her patients feel good. She the toy company also points to Barbie's more than 180 professions, such as Surgeon Barbie, Astronaut Barbie, and Firefighter Barbie. But the blonde Californian doll is also seen as superficial, rich, and lazy, a stereotype Mattel is eager to distance itself from in the Me Too and Time's Up era. It is a new kind of day, and certainly as a doll that represents a female, it's really important to have a positive message and to kind of, you know, talk to girls or to kids and talk about, you know, be, being able to do these different things. A new message for the next generation of women, with the goal of keeping Barbie young for another 60 years.